Well, inside the Greensboro Coliseum, where tonight UNCG defeats VMI 73-51 with the head coach of the Spartans, Wes Miller. Uh, coach, you look at what your defense did here tonight against the cadets, 23 turnovers. What did you like about how your defense performed? I liked that we turned them over 23 times. I thought our energy to play D was significantly better than it was two nights ago mm -hmm. in, uh, in Tennessee when we played at chat. So uh, I did like that. Um, I, I think when we – First, first you got to have a, a want, a desire to play D. I thought we had that tonight. Um, I still thought it could have been a little better at times. Just I thought we took some breaks or we didn't communicate as well as we should. Um, but the energy and desire was there, and I was pleased with that. What does that do to the overall, um, I, I don't know if it's, if it's momentum or feel for the game, for your group when you see and they see their defense producing like that and turning it into offense? Well, is it an extra bounce to their step? I mean, can you see that? Can you feel that for them? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think when defense turns into offense, it's the fun way to play basketball. Yeah, you yeah. know, and you get a couple easy shots because of the way that you guarded. So, yeah, I, th I think you're on to something there. I agree with it. Um, I'm just trying to get them to think about who we are on that end of the floor all the time. Let's build our identity around that. And I thought we got away from that a little bit over the weekend, uh, and it was nice to see us get back to that tonight. Uh, Marvin Smith, senior, gets uh, goes over 1,000 points here for his – his career. What does it mean, you know, for when you see a guy who's been in the program, has had such an impact, to hit a milestone like that and do it here at home? Yeah. It's pretty cool. I huh? thought it was really neat. And especially when you know where Marvin came from. He didn't come into college as a guy people thought would score a thousand points. Right. He came into a college that uh, as a guy that people were surprised he got a Division One scholarship offer. And so he's one of those neat stories. I, Marvin is really special to me. He's really special to the program and the university. Um, because of his whole story is is unbelievably impressive, Scott, and I I don't have time to tell it, but even if you just look at just the basketball side, take the, all the other cool stuff out. He's right. got a really neat story. You look at just the basketball side; it's a really neat story in itself. He played center on his high school team. Mm -hmm. He could we didn't let him dribble his freshman year, you know, <laughs> and now he's out here playing like a guard, uh, playing on the perimeters, one of the you know one of the top small forwards in this league, and. Uh, it scored a thousand points in his career. I think it's a pretty neat story. It's just in the basketball sense. So we're, pr we're proud of him. Yeah, and, and coach, uh, along those lines, in the second half, VMI comes out, make a little run, and cut the lead down to 15. And Marvin was one of those guys when you you brought that starting unit back in, who helped get everybody together. I think and say, okay, hey, let's let's start playing the way we need to here again. Yeah, I, we missed a couple shots to start the second half. I thought that frustrated the shots we normally make, and. Uh, and I didn't think our energy defensively was as good as it was going to be. I thought we had a couple breakdowns, so I did a little five in, five out, which I, I've never done that before. Mm -hmm. But there's five guys that played well in the first half. So I thought they picked the energy up a little bit. And then I thought Marvin really got everybody together, so we were able to – uh, to, to respond when our, our starting unit got back in the game. Well, Coach, you guys win it here 73-51. So it's good to get a league win. Take it. Enjoy it a little bit. And I know you've got Furman on your mind after that. Hey, we've four games in seven yeah. days or something like that. So it would be nice to get a little breather for, for the coaches and the players just to catch our breath a little bit. But we got a heck of a stretch coming up. So we're going to try to get geared up for it. Okay, Coach, appreciate your Thanks, time. 73-51, the final here in the Coliseum.